Well, back here at home, hair salons and barber shops are allowed to reopen in Kentucky starting tomorrow with, of course, some guidelines. Mass will be one of many new things you'll notice. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin live for us over in Covington with how one barber shop is handling an operations makeover, you might say. Dan? <laughs> yeah, Curtis, and if I wanted to get my hair cut, I'd need to make an appointment. Another change, too, if I'm waiting to get my hair cut, I'm going to have to wait outside. It's the night before Spanky's Barbershop in Covington reopens, and the final preps are underway. It's been hard and challenging, but um, at the same time, we're looking at all the positives out of it, and we're going to get back to action here soon. For two months, owner Sean Spanky Cadell says there have been no beard trims, no haircuts, nothing because of COVID-19. When customers return tomorrow, things will be different. For example, masks will be required for everyone and employees will have their temperatures taken daily. He says no more waiting inside for your service. Barbara Travis Ayers is already booked solid, working some six day weeks moving forward. The whole aspect of always surrounding yourself with new people and hearing people's stories, that's so uplifting. The way that you can cut someone's hair, so if someone walks in and the way I cut their hair and they walk out, their just demeanor can be like, it's insane how much it can change. And that's an amazing feeling. State guidelines require proper cleaning and sanitation of workspaces and tools and fresh capes for each client. The businesses are also required to provide appointment only service to cap occupancy and to provide social distancing or a barrier between customers during services. Barber Michael Lathrop says every station will be clean and everyone here is ready with safety a priority. This has been the longest break I've I've had from barbering in the six years I've been doing it. So. Hopefully, I still remember how to cut hair. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, so Spanky's opens tomorrow morning. That's at 10 a.m. State guidelines also encourage these businesses to screen their customers by phone for any kind of symptoms for COVID-19. Something to keep in mind, if you have those symptoms, these businesses can refuse you service. Reporting live in Covington, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. All right, thanks a lot, Dan. Well, the order to reopen Monday also applies to hair or nail salons, tattoo shops, tanning salons, and massage therapists.